All right, folks, so I just not too long ago rode into Orlando for the second annual Florida Moto Meetup hosted by Blockhead and other people. But I just wanted to mention and give a shout out to my beautiful M109R that got me all the way here from Montgomery, Alabama. And listen, it, it performed beautifully. Now, that's not to say I didn't have a few things to help me. For one, I had throttle lock, which helped me of course lock the throttle so it pretty much mimics cruise control and also I had things like hot hands that allowed me to pretty much have a little bit of warmth as I was riding because I had some in my shoes I had some in my gloves and I also had some on my body because I was riding pretty much like winter temps it was like 42 degrees when I left and then of course as I got more south it warmed up but I'm also here at my first Airbnb um, I'm meeting up with Gen Z Biker, Nathan, if you guys don't know him, you should go follow him. You can look up here and definitely give him a follow and a shout out to him because he decided to run with me and we're going to ride down to FLMM and show out. So yeah, it was a lot of fun, man. It was a lot of fun riding down here. It was definitely an experience for me to, I guess, ride this far by myself. It's, um, Oh, I'm so sore. But it's, it's, it's the first time for me to do this, and I wanted to make sure that, you know, I wasn't going to let the cold stop me from doing it. But luckily, I had the hot hands that, uh, I guess, made it more comfortable. But it was it was, it was was a little rough for a second because I rode, like, part of the way, maybe the first trip was, like, 130 or 40 miles. I mean, the first stop, and then I stopped and then put the things in, and it just made the ride so much better. So it definitely helped. But I didn't want to rob myself of this experience by missing out, you know, F, uh, missing out on FLMM, meeting someone else um, like Nathan and uh, possibly Shade Tree Surgery and Blockhead and all of them simply because of the distance, you know, and the weather. So I wasn't going to let that stop me, but here I am at my Airbnb and it's going to be a fantastic time. So. If those of you out there that are thinking about doing something like this and then you find something that's possibly stopping you from it, don't let it stop you. Just do it. Experience it. Do it. And you'll thank yourself later, especially when you set a new personal goal. So for me, I set like a new personal goal, like as far as the distance and definitely this time of year. And I pretty much surprised myself on what I realized I can do. Man, man, of course, you know you can do it, but it's just once you're in it, you know, you're like, dang, it's really cold out here, or it's really hot. But then when you finally get done with it, you realize, like, dang, I really just did that. And, you know, then you make yourself proud, you make yourself happy. So definitely get out there and experience things. And don't let anything really stop you from doing something you really want to do. So I'm about to go rest up and um, <laughs> get ready for what's to come this weekend. Oh, oh look at that. Yeah, we're right by our airport, so there's that. Thank you. 